So I want to go over some of the big changes in the multi-tool market that have happened between 2022 and 2023. And let's go ahead and take a look at most of these multi-tools, a very quick overview. Some of these perhaps you haven't seen. So last year, Gerber changed, really sort of shook things up a little bit with the Gerber stakeout. It was definitely different from what they had been making. And this is primarily a tool for going outdoors, for camping and so forth. And it has this set of tweezers right here, uh, the orange tip, so you do not lose it. And then it fits back like so. The one big tool that really confused a lot of people was what Gerber calls the temp peg puller. And a lot of people have mentioned that this is one of their favorite tools on Victorinox models, but it did seem to confuse people that Gerber added that. So you can use that for people have said holding grocery bags. Uh, you can use it for different, since you can hold the tool like this, you can get a lot more grip on that and just many, many different functions. Now on the Gerber stick out, they did add a pair of scissors and these pair, these scissors aren't awful because they do go through a paracord, but they're not amazing shears, but they're pretty good middle of the road scissors. So I actually don't have a lot of bad things to say about the scissors. I think they will work fine. And then they are calling this a file. Now, a lot of people think this is where you strike matches. Maybe that would work but Gerber does call that a file. Then you have a shorter knife, which actually looks fairly beefy, and that does come with a lock. And then on the back of the tool, you have a shorter saw, you have an awl, and then you do have measurements as well. So, and these are not locking. So it's a pretty nice little tool with this clip right here. And I think they call this, they might call that the bottle opener as well. I don't know, sometimes. But it does not have a can opener, which really frustrates a lot of people. Perhaps you could use one of these tools. I know I've seen videos where you can actually use rocks to open cans. But because it doesn't have a specific designated uh, can opener, that did frustrate a lot of people. This comes in at $55 right now, which is pretty much the going price for several of these tools. Most of them will be in the $50 range. All right, and then just recently, Gerber released two versions of the arm bar, and this will actually be the Gerber Scout. So on this version, let's go ahead and pull out these tools. I really like the colors that uh, Gerber is coming out with. So pretty neat pocket clip. They finally add a pocket clip. This is your hammer on the end. Also your bottle cap lifter as well. And then you have your pair of scissors. You have your saw. And this is your can opener and prop. Well, I guess this is your bottle opener at the back. Sometimes they combine those can opener, bottle opener features. Now let's go ahead and do paracord with this and... That actually cuts a lot better than the stakeout. I think if you hit just right on the stakeout scissors, they actually do a better job because I remember testing them before and they're not that bad. So this is the tool set of the Gerber Scout in green. And then the Gerber Trade, for obvious reasons, because it has a bid driver for the trades, it is in orange. And then it also has this hammer on the end, which I really, I like that as well. You can, you know, pound small things in. It's just, I love it when they add a tool to a space that would have been useless. So a lot of multi-tools, I mean, there's nothing here. There's no tool here. But on this end, they actually added a tool in there. And I, I really like that. So we have a very nice bit driver but unfortunately it's still not locking. It is double-sided and you can get bits to fit in there or put a magnet and just use a quarter inch, normal quarter inch bit as well. And then on this one, you have two extra tools or two other tools on this side. You've got the saw again, and then you have a much shorter awl as well. 
and none of these lock. And then on the other side, you have the very nice knife, and then that locks into place. And the same is true on the Scout, and I don't think I mentioned that, but the knife is on the other side. So that is pretty nice as well. So, and finally they have pocket clips. I really like the hammers on the end. The knives are nice. The bit driver, even though it doesn't lock, I have mentioned this before, but you can grip this right here and you pretty much lock it into place. It's got a nice place there. So I don't think it's a huge thing that it doesn't lock, a huge negative, but it, I guess we've been spoiled in the multi-tool world and so it would be nicer if it did. Now, sort of to compare, Victorinox has, it seems like, hundreds, but they have many, many, many differ, uh, differentials, uh, different styles, rather, uh, coming in many different sizes. I believe this might be the 91 millimeter style. They have many different thicknesses. You can get all kinds of, done all kinds of different ways. There's different scales you can have put on here, different tools on the scales. So anyway, just keep in mind there are many, many different Victorinox models. So as you're shopping, you might want to look at several of them as well. And then SOG has for several years now had the Power Pint, which if you want a plier-based multi-tool that is very pocketable, very small, this is probably the best compromise between small size and function because you can actually put a quarter inch bit in the end and use this as a screwdriver. So that really makes it functional. You've got a bunch of tools in here. I've done a full video on this. I don't want this video to go too long. So you do have a bunch of tools. The scissors are not very good. That's the one downside. But other than that, these tools do lock and it's a great, great tool. Now, SOG has recently come out with another multi-tool. Now, Dizel57, he has his own multi-tool channel. He's got tons of multi-tools. And he mentioned that this is the first time that SOG has come out with spring-loaded pliers. And I did not realize that. So that's, that's fascinating. But with these pliers, these are $49.95. These will be the cheapest of all these. Uh, this, these both come in at $50. These come in at $55. So this comes in five cents cheaper than the Gerber multi-tools, if you're really worried about that. But these have a very long wire cutter, wire cutters. So I think these are more for like fly fishermen cutting fishing line. They have some very small plier tips as well. They seem to meet very well, but you've got that very long cutting edge. And then on the bottom, this is what they label as their bottle cap lifter. So you grab it and you can take it off, which I don't know. Maybe I'm not into needing that on my multi-tool, but that's what it's labeled as. All right. And then closing this up, we do have a 440 a stainless steel knife. This is coated. So it will be nicer than some of the other budget options. And I'm so used to looking for the lock, but this actually doesn't lock. And then the other tool you will have is actually a pair of tweezers. And these have been reinforced on the ends, so you can get a lot of grip on them as well. So if you're out in the woods and you need tweezers to take out ticks, I guess, worst case scenario, you might be able to use those or obviously the pliers as well, perhaps. So these come in at only 2.4 ounces. I think these will be one of the lightest tools actually in the group. Uh, it's going to be close. Maybe the Gerbers are a little, the Gerber Trade and Scout, the arm bar, may be a little bit lighter, but these will be very, very light and very, very small multi-tools. So they will be almost the same size as the Power Pint, but they will be a little, well, about the same size as the power pint, actually. About the same size. So that is the new tool from SOG, the SOG Aegis MT. And again, it comes in at $49. I would try to put a link in the description below to all these multi-tools. Now, I think I'm going to add a in the comment section, do a poll and see which of these you like the best. Do you like the Gerber Stakeout the best, the Scout, the Trade, 
or the SOG Aegis MT. All these, well, mo many of these are more uh, outdoor geared. So I guess all three of these are more for the outdoors. And this is more for the trades. But these are great multi-tools if you just need something to slip in your pocket. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.